There is no doubt that uh, health is one of the most important issues for European citizens. We have so many deaths because of uh, obesity and lack of physical activity, but also for economic reasons, because certainly people who are uh, obese, uh, they get sick very often, they uh, don't go to work, and therefore uh, employers and the state loses uh, from lack of productivity. Today's meeting was a, an initiative of the International Chair of Cardiometabolic Risk. We're, we're a group of uh, multidisciplinary experts uh, dealing with you know, the worldwide epidemic of uh, chronic uh, disease such as type 2 diabetes, obesity. But we want to get out of our comfort zone and then go beyond exchanging among scientists and really exchange, share the evidence with, with relevant stakeholders, including a, a government representative. Obesity is on the radar of every country in the world right now as a, as a source of great concern in terms of the overall health of their uh, citizens. But today, I think what we identified is really uh, even more than obesity was the number of uh, uh, deaths, the mortality rate, accorded to physical inactivity and how that now exceeds smoking as a risk factor. So the notion that obesity uh, is a problem is clear. The reason it's a problem is because of the upstream behaviors, the poor dietary habits and physical inactivity. That's the challenge that we have. C'est euh, un enjeu aujourd'hui dans notre société, dans les sociétés européennes, dans chaque État membre, c'est un véritable enjeu. Nous sommes tous conscients que le taux d'enfants, de, le taux d'adultes obèses va en progressant, est en progression dans tous les États membres et qu'il nous faut aujourd'hui être dans la prévention, être dans la pédagogie auprès de chacun des citoyens. First of all, we need to educate the population and physician about the importance of abdominal obesity and this all this fat inside which is really dangerous. This is the first thing. Then we need to link this condition, abdominal obesity, to poor nutritional habits and poor drinking habits as well as to a sedentary lifestyle. So we really need to raise the awareness of physician managing those patients as well as the population. And then obviously we need to take about, okay, what do we do in clinical practice and what do we do in terms of public health to both manage properly, optimally, and prevent this condition. We are still in the midst of trying to determine which the best policy options are, but the evidence is increasing, the will is clear, and hopefully one day, very, very soon, we can uh, have the evidence that we need to uh, focus in on the policies that will make healthy eating and physical activity easy choices. Eh bien, les objectifs d'une telle journée devant les parlementaires aujourd'hui, c'est de sensibiliser les politiques, mais aussi toutes les institutions européennes à cette, à cette forme particulière d'obésité qui est l'obésité abdominale ou la bedaine, comme on dit en France, qui n'est pas du tout reconnue, qui n'est pas connue et qui n'est pas prise en charge en Europe. Donc, nous souhaitons lancer un débat, lancer un programme d'action qui va être annoncé à la fin de la journée aujourd'hui puisqu'on va créer uh, European Alliance for Healthy Lifestyle. Well, I think it is very um, important that the scientists, uh, especially medical profession, uh, professionals, have decided to take up this issue and uh, work together as an alliance in order to fight obesity. And we are very willing, I think, to work with them uh, in order to uh, take forward this issue because the, the success of fighting obesity lies in working together. So alliance is a good way of proceeding.